Welcome back guys to Crypto for Life channel and today we'd like to talk about Bitcoin. Let's dive in. So first of all, if you watched the yesterday news, uh, you know the Fed increased the rate to 50 basic points and Bitcoin reacts immediately, like you can see here on a one hour time frame one big candle drop uh, but let's zoom out and double check the wider picture for bitcoin and here like i showed you we got two main trend line uptrend line almost at the beginning of uh, march 2017 and the second one is uh, from a covid dump and we drop it under the yellow line the covid uh, support line it means the next stage is here now 8k so now the majority wait in this area so the move like this one collapse bounce collapse and hold the line at eight but by this logic we can collapse it to the infinity to zero you know in this case why we have to drop exactly to this trend line why we can't beat this one and climb it up so that's why you can see a lot of metrics, a lot of analysis in um, in Twitter, in the charts, uh, in Telegram channel, but you have to analyze the fundamental and the global picture in the world. Because like you remember, a lot of people scream, whoa, Bitcoin never dropped the uh, lower than the previous high. So we broke this model. So it, it's not necessary. So we have to drop it down now to this uh, um, uh, support line. Maybe we'll trade in the sideways like here, some uh, half year, one more half year and bounce. Nobody knows. That's why the, uh, we get a lot of different metrics, a lot of different analysis. And only the history will show who, who was right or who was wrong. So uh, today I just post this one. So here's Brody wedge pattern. Now we're going down, but this a wedge should become wider, you know, and we can bounce and going higher to the new uh, all time high, you know, according to this model around to, to sound 24. So it can play out. So nobody knows. So just my humble opinion, I don't think so. We will drop to 10K because the, according to sentiment, now all the crowd in a Twitter waiting 10K. My uh, last stage for Bitcoin it will be around 14k or uh, 13k and 500 so in this range why exactly this one because first of all we can see this head and shoulder left head and sh right shoulder just hypothetically it can play out so i made a video in the january and showed you this head and shoulder pattern and if this pattern play out so it's not unnecessary so it will 100% will be realized but according to this pattern we have to drop the sides of the head to shoulder to this one uh, 13k 800 around here 13k 500 and in global in global if we count it will be around 80 80% 80 drop 80% correction now Bitcoin Correct only to 77%. But according to the model, Bitcoin in every single cycle will become less volatile. So it means we will not skyrocket next cycle like this one around 1k and 800. It means the next, if we just beat the previous high, for example, let's count 100k. So here 100k. Uh, the bitcoin pump only to uh, 480 percent so it's not insane pump like this one you know that that's why maybe with every single cycle we will drop less and then bitcoin become less volatile by time so next one what i would like to show you we go to lines and find a top here second touch and the third touch here was at let me show you at exactly at 20k 20k and 500 here breakout rejection breakout and now we're breaking out this downtrend line but reject at the uptrend line and we got a reaction exactly at this uh, uptrend line so it means this trend line is correct 
we got this local buyer zone now this zone will be like um, resistance zone so it means we drop it down almost retest the downtrend line one more time because we already retested here and we bounce it on a daily time frame you can see the reaction accumulation here all november we accumulate here and drop it down because of FTX collapse. You remember, I made a video all summer and talk about a Bitcoin, so we have to bounce to this middle seller zone 27, 28K. But nobody could predict the FTX collapse. So we collapse it one more time. So it's not unnecessary, so we have to collapse one more time like this one, you know, crash to 10K. So now all majority wait this crash. Yes, of course, it's possible to see, but what if we see this volume, we see the accumulation from the big players and it will be the squ short squeeze. Yes, we can trade sometimes in this range, we can drop to a 16K one more time and then bounce it, retest it and come back to uptrend uh, line here according to this model but this is just a one more possible scenario so you have to be ready to both of them so if we are come back to this zone we can see something something like this one you know something like this play out like this one trade 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 and uh, around may when we're breaking out with retest around 35k even 40k we can come back and drop it down, drop it down one more time to 20k to make a fake out. All people got up to technical analysis, open a long position here. But we just come back here around 30k and come back down almost to 20k. So one more time we can lose, uh, for example, like here, all crowd jump into long and Bitcoin will lose one more time 40% almost the half so it will be the trap so like this one retest and come back going to new all-time highs you know because now we got this middle seller zone it's between uh, 30k and 27k so yes we possibly can retest and you can see this triangle you know now we got a local uh, previous buyer zone now it's a resistance zone so it's not necessary, so we have to collapse to this uptrend line, the 8K. But we have all chances. If we're not breaking out with a second retest uh, this uh, uptrend line, we can collapse it down. So what about S&P 500? We got this channel here. Touch, touch, almost touch and almost touch. Here's a touch, touch and almost touch. So it's possible to see, according to my plan, it's possible to see what I posted, drop close this gap in January, maybe in February, between 3K and 857 till uh, 3K 80, 800. Close this gap, trade sometime in this range and by end of March, beginning of maybe April, we will bounce it to close this gap and going out of this channel. We're going out like this, retest it, 3K 900 above and going to new high. And according to this plan, yes, we can see the, the scenario for Bitcoin with uh, realization of uh, this pattern. Drop to 16K, trade sometimes, try and break it out and come back to the channel. And in the March, we can break it out the middle seller zone. It will be the fake out and then we drop it down one more time to grab all this liquidity because this zone will be the main support zone between 200, 220k and 500 till 19 so it will be the massive support zone so this pattern can play out if not if not we can see the realization of a head and shoulder pattern you know uh, 13k but i'm not sure about a 10k I'm not sure. What about uh, the indicators? What my indicator shows? So according to indicators, crypto flight direction, we not see signal to sell. Signal to sell only appear uh, one uh, time here in September 
oh, of course in the April in September we got a signal to sell here when we skyrocket from 29 till 53 we skyrocket and at 53 we got a signal to sell and then we got a signal to sell when the big players starting from uh, uh, October from 55 the big players just sell 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 and at uh, here at this top at uh, 63 500 and 63 we got two confirmation signal to sell and we beat the previous high but the we go in a downtrend so it was a perfect confirmation uh now we see the accumulation here in august accumulation small accumulation in september and a big accumulation in november du during all november and signal to pump no signal to sell you know uh, if we zoom out and double check on a weekly time frame you can see signal to sell in january signal to sell in may and signal to sell in november perfect perfectly signal to sell at the top here in this one now we got signal to buy on a weekly time frame it's the most strongest signal to buy so here we got a signal to buy in september at september it was at 18k and 600 then we got a, a FTX collapse and now we trade it here you can see the accumulation and if you zoom out you can see we can bounce it on the weekly time frame the crowd expect the 10k but we can bounce even to 30k just need to make a move like this one and then drop it down one more time what I'm told you something like this one you know it's a quarter to crypto flight direction so we have a, a lot of room for growth you know because people analysis make analysis for four hour time frame uh, and one day time frame but if you zoom out to weekly time frame and mostly people wait a 13k because of uh, this top top of uh jule 2019 it's not a necessary so bitcoin have to follow the some patterns or rules we have no rules we just follow the s p 500 and the, all this uh news in media so crypto flight direction we can close i i didn't show you so often this indicator crypto flight market mood but it's so useful uh now like you can see here when we extremely red or orange it's time to sell this signal to sell during all this period when bitcoin pumped from 3k to 63 you know then all market calm down when the market is uh, called blue or a white it's time to buy it's time to accumulate you know it's not it's this indicator doesn't show you some exact time when to buy it's more for investors but on different time frames it works from the summer to 2021 we bounce it two times and the big players sell it sell it now we drop an accumulation stage big players accumulate and pump it from 33 to almost 50k and sell it one more time here accumulate at the white one at 17 bounce to 25 sell it what we can see here the big players accumulate at 18 pump it to 21 sell it two signals to sell you know now after exactly after this drop here there was a time to sell 21 drop in this range at 15 the big players accumulate now we see the cold uh, blue and green one so the green one it's not a necessary signal so we have to some close our position no it's time to accumulate that's why we can drop to 15k bounce it come back to this zone and when we retest the seller zone we will see the red one red color and on a weekly time frame you can see more clearly picture so here we cut all noises and we got a signal to sell signal to sell the big player sell step by step here and signs 25 at the beginning of 25k till now in this zone the big players accumulate so for example the people who bought at 25 and at 15k 
their average price around 20 for example so to pump coin from 20 to 30 or even 40 they will just double x their investments so for so just imagine you got a you got a 2 millions or 5 millions or billions you know and it's it's easy to pump so the crowd jump into longs here you withdraw your investments and you get a 1 billion more uh, just the free coins in bitcoin and you collapse it down one more time fill your bags one more time multiply and skyrocket so here's how it probably we will see the scenarios according to trade on indicator on a daily time frame we got a signal to buy here here and recommendation to close your position we got a one more signal to buy on a daily time frame and recommendation to close your position it one more confirmation so we can drop to even 16k and bounce it up because we don't see the signal to sell to sell like uh, here a signal to sell or take profit that's why we're in accumulation stage you know on the uh, daily time frame on a weekly time frame we got only signal to buy here signal to sell in april that's why i think uh, the bear market starts in april not in november and here is signal to sell look on a weekly time frame here is a recommendation close some part of your position and here only in june uh, at 17k we got a signal to take profit you know it's time to uh, close your old short position take profit from the shorts and open long you know or uh, accumulate on a spot on a weekly time frame at a 19k so this indicator show the big players uh, accumulate this coin and now we don't see even signal to close position or uh, buy one more time or uh, take profit no maybe i think the uh, signal to close uh, your position and take profit we will see around 80k we will see the signal to take profit but uh, from long take profit at uh, near 100k we can see the signal to uh, sell but the mostly crowd one more time jump in in this area and lose their money one more time in the next uh, cycle also if we double check the volume range we can see the local picture from a drop in the march we can see the main volume range from sellers will be exactly at our uptrend line around 20k so if we bet this line like this one the next stop is 30k next psychological price because here's empty zone so it's one more confirmation uh, about the uptrend why do i think so and here's uh, my last indicator is uh, take profit what we can see on the daily time frame we can see we're trading the range now we are bounced here from the buy line buy line almost touch the fundamental price bounce and tr trade in the range if we drop one more time to the buy line it will be around 20k and uh, 500 so just remember this range for the price now for bitcoin around uh, 9k i don't i don't know just to be honest i don't know and can imagine what have to happen in the world maybe just the united states and the Ch china taiwan uh, uh, new war have to collapse the bitcoin one more time to 9k so but mostly we can uh, see the bounce and retest the 24k and 900 it's a take profit line and the exit line around 27. so what i told you like this one and go into 35 and then come back down to test the buy line because buy line will be curve like this one because we already tested a lot of times buy line and we find a support bounce 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 and we have to test the take profit line or exit line so we can't fall down forever now the crowd wait the drop down but it's not unnecessary so we have to do it because it's too easy to give the people option buying bitcoin at 10k so now everybody want to buy in bitcoin at 10k that's why i'm expect the side some sideways move here 
uh, on a daily time frame and a bounce. And the last one, what I would like to show you, that weekly time frame, you will be impressed because according to this indicator, like you can see, we drop it on the weekly time frame. We drop it under Fermat price. So here in June, we drop it under Fermat price because Fermat price was 19k, exactly the previous high, previous high in 2017 and we drop it, so it was a historical moment, we bounce it, almost reject at the buy line, like uh, resistance, bounce to fundamental price, fundamental price, fundamental price, and collapse one more time under fundamental price. So it's more than enough, drop two times under fundamental price, now we bounce. Like you can see on a weekly time frame, we're green, we are green, with a huge weak candle because uh, here is a lot of uh, sellers. All people open short, 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 and it will be the short squeeze, massive short squeeze. Exactly to higher than 25k to 30k. And take profit line on the weekly time frame now at 44k. So it's a signal for you on the weekly time frame. So we can bounce in the 50% of this range between take profit and the buy line around 35 to 30k and then come back down one more time to test the buy line so if we zoom out the picture is not so um, not so bad you know i think the big players had a, a lot of time to withdraw all their money in this range you know even it's a a b c or even it's a a b c you know, we, we've fallen down in a three stage. So now I think we're not so far from the bottom or maybe we'll pass the bottom at 15K. And now the crowd waiting. Also, you have to keep in mind the scenario so we can bounce to 30K and then collapse down to 12. But I, I hope we'll not see this collapse. In this case, the cycle will be much, much longer. So according to all these metrics, I think uh, we have all chances uh, to not see the 10k or uh, 13k in near future because on a weekly time frame we we get a green candles. Guys, I hope you like this long video about Bitcoin. So probably our scenario with the head and shoulder can be realized, but it will be the cancel if we beat the previous uh, uptrend um, support line. And I think we have all chances to beat the 25K uh, by end of February, beginning of uh, March, and to see the price around 30K. But all people fall, will fall in FOMO at 30K and think we will go to new all-time high, but it will be the trap because after 30, 35K, we can drop one more time to the main support. Trend line is around 23 till 19. So just be ready for this possible scenarios because now the majority waiting the 10K. But everything can happen. Everything can happen. Binance can collapse, crash, uh, scammed all people. And in this case, I think uh, that all crypto will crash. And long time period, people will never come back to crypto if Binance uh, crash. Guys, share this video with your friends. Subscribe channel, hit the like button, hit the bell notification button. If you want to trade with my custom Medicare set, set, 6 in 1, only for one low per day, just write me DM. And don't forget to join my Telegram channel. See you next time, guys.